Hey there, football fans! With the NFL trade deadline right around the corner, it's time to get excited about some potential game-changing moves. We're not talking about wild fantasies here, we're looking at realistic scenarios that could actually go down. We're setting the stage for some pick swaps and trades that will have you doing a double take when the news notification pops up on your screen. We're considering each team's goals, what they could offer or gain, potential trade partners, and the reasons why these deals make sense for everyone involved. So, let's dive into the world of NFL trades and explore some exciting possibilities. Stay tuned for some trade talk that's not just a pipe dream. The Atlanta Falcons are eyeing a big change at quarterback, and it's easy to see why. Desmond Ritter hasn't quite lived up to expectations, and their offense needs a boost. They've set their sights on Drake May, one of the top quarterback prospects in the upcoming draft. May's been making some serious waves with his performance, showing impressive pre-snap awareness and pocket presence. He's got the goods to be a franchise quarterback, and that's what Atlanta needs. To make this happen, the Falcons might have to sell the farm. We're talking multiple first-round picks, possibly some second-round picks, and maybe even a player like Grady Jarrett. It's a steep price, but the Falcons have the assets to pull it off. They could find a trade partner in the Chicago Bears, who hold the first and second picks in the draft. If the Bears go in a different direction, the Falcons could swoop in and grab May at number two. The bottom line? The Falcons need a change under center to become true playoff and Super Bowl contenders. May could be the answer, and they should do whatever it takes to secure their future with him. It might be a big gamble, but sometimes you've got to go all in to win big. Up next, the Cincinnati Bengals are making a tough decision with impending free agents T. Higgins and Tyler Boyd likely on their way out as they shift their focus to extending Joe Burrow's favorite target, Jamar Chase. So, the Bengals will need to find some new talented wide receiver, and they've got their sights set on Romo Dunze, a rising star with some impressive skills. Odunze's ability to make contested catches and his reliable performance make him an attractive option. With Higgins likely departing, the Bengals believe Odunze can fill that void effectively. As for what they might have to give up, it depends on their draft position. The Bengals have plenty of picks at their disposal this year and in 2025, which gives them some flexibility. They could also sweeten the deal by offering tradable players like Joseph Osai, Trey Hendrickson, and B.J. Hill, all entering contract years. To secure Odunze, Cincinnati might need to trade up into the top 10, and the Chicago Bears or Minnesota Vikings could be potential trade partners. Both have valuable draft positions and could be willing to make a deal. The reason behind this move is clear. The Bengals have enjoyed a stacked receiving core, and losing Higgins and Boyd would leave a significant gap. Replicating Higgins' production is no small task, and he was a crucial part of their offense. To maintain their offensive prowess and support Burrow, the Bengals are willing to be aggressive and invest in a top-wide receiver from this year's draft class. It's a strategic move to keep their offense among the best in the league. The New England Patriots are making a bold move by considering trading up in the draft to secure a new franchise quarterback. While it might not seem surprising given Mac Jones' struggles, it's worth noting that Patriots head coach Bill Belichick doesn't often trade up in the first round. However, the end goal here is crystal clear. The Patriots need a franchise quarterback, and it's evident that Jones might not be the long-term solution. In this year's draft class, only Caleb Williams and Drake May seem like worthy candidates for the franchise QB title. They're the only signal callers ranked in the top 30 on the NFL Draft Scouting Department's initial big board. In 2021, the Patriots waited for their turn, resulting in Mac Jones falling into their lap. This time around, it seems unlikely that Belichick will take the same passive approach. To get in the range for Williams or May, the Patriots might need to trade with the Chicago Bears, who currently hold the first and second picks. A deal that involves New England's first and second round picks from this year and potentially a 2025 Day 2 pick could make it happen. The reason behind this aggressive move is clear. The Patriots have realized that a top-tier quarterback is essential for their success. Waiting for one to fall into their lap again like Tom Brady did isn't a reliable strategy. They need to be proactive and secure their future at the most critical position on the field. The Denver Broncos are facing a tough season with a 1-5 record and a clear need for a top quarterback in the upcoming draft. However, there's a twist in their strategy. The Broncos are considering trading back in the draft to acquire more assets instead of taking a quarterback early, and here's why. Firstly, they've already traded Randy Gregory and are leaning toward a full rebuild. 
So, rather than drafting a young quarterback now and potentially subjecting them to a difficult situation surrounded by inexperienced players, they could trade their high pick for more assets to strengthen the rest of the roster. Additionally, they have Russell Wilson under contract through 2028. This gives them the opportunity to build a competitive team around Wilson for a year or two before transitioning to a younger quarterback, similar to the Chiefs' approach with Alex Smith and Patrick Mahomes. This strategy would provide the young quarterback with a better environment to succeed from the outset. Right now, the Broncos hold the number three overall pick, which could yield a significant return in a trade, especially if Williams or May are still available past the first two selections. Potential partners for a trade include any team in need of a quarterback drafting after Denver. This gives them various options, with teams like New England, Minnesota, Tennessee, New Orleans, and Atlanta being potential trade partners. The main reason behind this strategy is to avoid throwing a young quarterback into a challenging situation and to make better use of Russell Wilson's contract. Releasing Wilson would come at a hefty cost in dead cap hits, so it makes more sense to utilize him as a stopgap until a successor is ready to take the reins. In summary, the Broncos are considering a strategic move to trade back, gather more assets, and build a solid foundation before introducing a young quarterback to ensure their long-term success. The Minnesota Vikings are in a challenging position with a 2-4 record and their postseason hopes dwindling. They have several key players who are impending free agents, and it's becoming evident that a reset and rebuild might be in their best interest. One significant move on the table is trading star-wide receiver Justin Jefferson. The Vikings couldn't secure a contract extension with him this past summer, and with a potential rebuild ahead, it's unlikely that Jefferson would commit to a long-term deal with a team that's facing more losing seasons. So, trading Jefferson to acquire assets for the future is a logical consideration. In terms of what they can give up since the scenario revolves around a specific player, there might not be much room for additional assets. However, they could sweeten the deal by including another player or a mid to late round draft pick. As for potential trade partners, the list could be extensive, as virtually any team would be eager to acquire the reigning offensive player of the year. Teams in need of a wide receiver upgrade, such as the Cardinals, Steelers, and Ravens, are among the potential suitors for Jefferson. The rationale behind this move is backed by recent NFL trades involving star wide receivers like Devontae Adams and Tyreek Hill, which fetch significant returns. Minnesota could expect to receive a similar haul for Jefferson, if not more, given his age and potential. Gaining at least two top 64 draft picks would be a substantial boost for a team about to embark on a rebuild, especially if they're unlikely to retain Jefferson beyond the next season. As the NFL trade deadline nears, we've explored some bold scenarios that could reshape the league. Stay tuned for more exciting trade possibilities as the season unfolds.